Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you're getting ready for the racing that's going to be taking place out at Turfentain. We've got the postman that's going to be tipping out at Turfentain and please Lord, let him deliver. So I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his preview. Yeah, good morning, good evening or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. And again, a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get into the preview for Tuesday, the 6th of December, um, going back to weekend, our value bet arrived and very, very nicely. Unfortunately for us, um, Apprentice Siebel um, did not ride and his rides were taken by another apprentice. And when we go back and look at the reruns of that, every race, the new kid rode. Those horses pulled like dentists. He went in and out, in and out, and we had lost our Tom um, at, at the beginning of the race. So that was a little unfortunate, but yeah, we're still showing a nice profit. As I said, guys, racing does come to us uh, from the Turfentain Stanside track on Tuesday, the 6th of December. There are eight races carded, and the first event is a work rider's made and played for fillies and it's due off at 12.25 on going through the card um, the, my first selection and a narrow first selection is horse number 3, this is in a sense Tom Lukeel has got the mount here for Lucky Odalakis, last time I just did finish second, albeit in a small field um, went handy with Craig Zaki aboard um, the saddle slipped, but still managed to hang on for second. I know it's coming back from a 10-week layoff. Um, blinkers were put on um, last time out. Lucky has kept the blinkers on this time as well. And I certainly think that with a nice draw of one, I certainly think that this will be there when the whips are cracking. And that is my first selection, run about 33 to 10. My second selection is the stable companion this is horse number eight and this is uh, impersonation um bongani Mlingeni gets the ride here for the hudalaka stable this had one fair effort uh finishing six and a half lengths behind the winner and um, that was over 1200 meters i do think that the 1600 will suit this one down to the ground um and I'm certainly looking for an improved effort from this. I would not be surprised if Lucky gets the exactor in the first race. For third, I've gone for four. This is Rosie Lemon. Again, has got some fair form. Last time I'd finished second um, in their work riders. That uh, was staying on on that occasion. Big negative, drawn eight. But maybe good enough to fill in uh, back ends of trifectas and quartets. For fourth, I've gone for the current favourite. This is horse number two, last wild one. Last time I did finish second behind Yali Beach in her work riders. The time before that finished at six and a half lengths behind Namakwa Blossom. And on that run, cannot turn the form around with number four, Rosie Lemon. And that's why I've got that to run fourth. So these first race, I've gone three, eight, four, and two. Um, swingers. Three, four, and eight, and putting all three in the first leg of my bipod. We move on to the second race on the card. This is Joff at 1300 hours, one o'clock, uh, made and plate over 1600 meters. And in this event, guys, I think it's a match race. My first selection here is horse number 10, and this is Twa Twa Cut. Uh, Randall Simons retains the ride here for Mike to cock. Um, last time out, this did go off favourite, um, had excuses. Last time out, um, I see Mark's throwing the blinkers on this time, and I think that uh, the current favourite is the one to beat. For second, I have gone for horse number seven, Kambula, uh, Calvin Abib for Sean Terry. Also had one promising effort, finished five lengths behind World's Best. I do think that, again, this one will be there when the whips are cracking. For third, gone for a nice Ruffy. This is horse number four, Royal Raphael. Uh, Muzi Yeni for St. John Gray. 
Um, this has had some moderate efforts, but again, we go back and we look, coming back to the 1600 meters, finished four lengths behind DJ Jr., was drawn um, on the outside on that occasion, was staying on. And again, I certainly think that at a big price, we're going to throw this one in swingers, trifectas, and quartets. For fourth, I'm going for horse number three. This is Green Currency. Cabela Mazziani retaining the ride here for Waiho Mowing. Was a nice effort last time behind Gregor McGregor. Did finish second on that occasion. They bring it back to the 1600 meters, but this one is drawn really, really wide. Um, had it been drawn in the first three, um, I would have said, yeah, we will certainly finish in closer. But I do think it's a race in two, and we have gone 10, 7, 4, and 3. We move on to the third race on the card. This is the first leg of the pick six. This is Joff at 13.35. And it's a met rate at 89 handicap over 1400 meters. And this event, we find my best bet on the card. This is horse number one, Raffles. Ray Danielson gets a ride here for Roy Magna. Um, last some artists finished five lengths behind Anfield's Rocket. Um, we know what Azzy has said about Anfield's Rocket, and if that is the best horse in the country, well, this can only this finishes just under five lengths behind that. I really think that this will be the horse to beat. And I think around about 22 to 10, we certainly going to have a touch on that one. For second, I've gone for the current favorite. This is horse number three. This is Tsar Bomba. Gavin Arena gets a ride here for Johan Janssen van Furen. We know how well that stable's been going. Last time out, over 1,400 meters um, at, at the Vol. Uh, jumps at handy and absolutely doddled in about three lengths. I certainly think that this is a tougher task. Um, but for larger perms, if you're taking pick sixes, maybe throw both of them in. For third, I've gone for number two, Fast Love. Chase Marjan for Johan Janssen van Furen. Again, this has some decent form and good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, I've gone for the sixth. This is Star Coin. JP van der Merwe for Alec Laird. Second run after rest. Should strip a lot fitter uh, than it was last time out, whereby it finished five and three quarter lengths behind Tsar Bomba. Um, on that run, should not uh, reverse the form. So race three, I have gone one, three, two, and six. I think one is the right one. Um, if you're afraid, nobody wants to go out the first leg, throw in one and three in the pick six. We we'll move on to the fourth race on the card, guys. This is due off at 14.10, merit rated 76 handicap, over 1,400 meters. I do think that this is an open event, and my narrow first selection here is horse number two, Destiny of Souls. Musieni gets the ride here for Mike de Kock. We go and we look, beat Mo Jive, seven and a half lengths to Unzen, at two and a half lengths to Fast Love. This is a third run after arrest. And I certainly think that this one has still got plenty, plenty to come um, and should be there and thereabouts. As I said, an open event. For second, I have gone for horse number six. This is without equal. Uh, Sianna Sasebo claiming the four kilos. We go back and we go and look. Two lengths to Union Square. Two lengths to Shoemaker. Um, four lengths to Swing Upon a Star. If this one can bring that form back, guys, this will go really, really, really close. And I certainly won't be leaving this one out. For third, I've gone for another uh, Rafia. This is horse number three, Acorn. Last time out, seven lengths to Tsar Bomba. Did race wide, did have excuses. But we go back and we look. Beat Des Destiny of Souls over 1,200 meters. Ran in the grade one behind uh, Cousin Casey. Um, again, 17 to 1. Wow, I think this is great, great value. And again, throwing this one in. For fourth, guys, I've gone for horse number 9. Uh, Vesuvio, JP van der Merwe, gets a ride there for Tyrone Zaki. 
Last time out, I'm putting a line through that. That was 10 lengths behind Union Square, and that was in the Dingons. Again, this is a third run after rest, and I certainly think that this will go um, closer than that run. Guys, there are one or two other horses that you can throw in. Um, number seven, Rule by Force. We don't know how good that one is. I think that is currently the favorite at around about two to one. Maybe you can throw that one in as well. Um, going through, that's about it. Um, two, three, six. Seven and nine, if you're taking a pick six, I think it's quite open, guys. But my selections there are two, six, three, and nine. Maybe take swingers um, with the first three selections, trifecta, box them, and if that arrives, you'll be one of very, very few. We'll move on to the fifth race on the card. This is Geoff at 14.45, merit rated 76 handicap over 1800 meters and my first selection here is horse number six banner bridge cabello Mazziani gets a ride here for candace dawson nicely drawn at one handy galloping mass um i see they've pulled this horse back to the 1800 meters i think it'll be better over 1800 meters and 72 is not a bad price for second i've gone for the current favorite this is horse number seven african torrent Diego de Gaveo gets the ride here for Mike and Adam Azzi. Um, last time out, jumps at handy, um, over-raced a bit, and still won the race. This is a third run after a rest, going for three in a row, never easy, but again, cannot be left out of your exotics. For third, we've gone for horse number three, 5th of July, Gavlerina for David Niverhazen. Again, this has shown some decent form. Um, one length to Jamila, three lengths to Jamila, uh, one length to Tababua. Um, had excuses last time out, so we can put a line through that. And again, trifectas and quartets, throw that one in. For fourth, I have gone for horse number one. And this is Ablon. Uh, Muzi Yeni gets the mount here for the, the cockyard. This one had excuses last time out, put a line through that. JP failed to ride it out. He felt something was amiss. Um, but the time before that, not too shabby. One length behind Nordic Rebel. Three and a half behind Base UA. Um, and again, back in of trifectas and quartets. Race five. We have gone six, seven, three, and one. I think six and seven would be sufficient. Six race on the card, Geoff at 1515, middle stakes, over 1800 meters. I think this is another open event. Uh, we just look at the betting, yeah, I think it's 4 to 1 the field, which tells us that this is quite open. However, in an open event, okay, and I'm saying open due to the fact of the betting, I think I've got great value here, and this is horse number four, uh, Flashy Apache. I think 5-1, to one, Ryan Munger, Tyro Zaki. I know it's drawn 11. I'm not worried about that. I think Ryan will jump. He'll sit this one at the back. And this will certainly be running on when others have cried enough. As I said, 5-1, to one, guys. Honestly, I think this is nice each way value. Um, for second, I have gone for horse number 8. Captain Chorus, Muzieni for Lucky Odalakis. Um, last time out, just finished third behind Marching On Forever. Um, I don't see why it will change or reverse the form with our first selection. But again, certainly good enough for trifectas and quartets. For third, we've gone for horse number two, Bold Fortune. Um, Sianna Sasebo claims he's four kilos. This is for the Stewie Pettigrew yard. Um, last time out, ran in a feature race. Um, I think it's a lot better than that. It's sort of certainly dropping in class. Um, if I'm looking for a negative, I've got a filly, five-year-old filly or five-year-old mare running against the boys. But again, maybe good enough um, in this type of field. For fourth, 
I have gone for horse number 11, a fraud, JP van der Merwe for Stephen Moffat. Last time out, putting a line through that one. I think that that field was far too strong. But we go back and we look, four lengths to Jamila, two lengths to Elusive Swan, five lengths to White Fang. Uh, maybe in this field, carrying 54, maybe good enough for back ends of trifectas and quartets. So race six, four, eight, two, and eleven, and I really think four is nice price. Uh, County round about five to one. We we'll move on to the seventh race on the card, guys. This is due off at fifteen forty-five, a merit rate at seventy-nine handicap for the fillies, and this is to be run over eleven hundred and sixty meters. Um, just take note here, guys. There are three scratchings or horses three dancing Dora's out. Four, more than a feeling has been scratched. And five is a card scratching. But if you go look at the betting, this one is still there. So just watch. It must be scratched if it was a card scratching. And when we move on to the seventh race, my first selection here is horse number six. Silver Winter, Muzi Yeni for Stephen Moffat. Uh, this is a third run after rest. Muzi gets back aboard this one. He ran second three lengths to Flower Bomb on this one. Ran three and three quarter lengths behind Tayub. This has run to some decent sorts. And again, um, I think is on the right side, even though it's a small field. I think he's on the right side of the course. And as I said, my first selection. For second, I've gone for horse 10 Bonnaroo. Uh, Randall Simons for the De Yard. Third run after rest. Um, reverting back to sprints. Um, and again, I think certainly be there when the whips are cracking for third i've gone for number two this is rocket's red glare very very speedy sort um see under claims he's four kilos this one will only be carrying 55 um cannot be left out of any permutations guys throw this one in um pick six is jackpots put all three in two six and ten and for fourth I've gone for horse number eight. This is a splash of green. Uh, Matthew Thackeray gets a ride here for the bowing yard. I know that's been running over further, but they've pulled the pacifiers off. They've put blinkers on. Um, this one can sit handy and again, maybe kicking on when others have cried enough. So race seven, six, two, it's my apologies, six, ten, two and eight. Move on to the lucky last. This is due off at 16.20. This is a merit rate at 68 handicap for the girls. Again, over 1160 meters. Please take note, guys. Horse number four, Rattle Bag, has been scratched. Another very open race, guys. It's 81 the field, so you must know. Load up, putting as many as the budget would allow. My narrow first selection is horse number 10, twice as wild. Gavin Arena for Grant Maroon. Um, they're bringing this one back to sprinting uh, distance. We go back and we look there. Um, one a lengthy irre irrevocable dream. One and a half to red carpet. Two and a half to golden aspen. Less than half a length to integrate. So reverting back to sprints in with a big chance. For second, I've gone for horse number two. This is run for Isla Cabela Mazziani for Candace Dawson. Um, I go back and look, Cabela's ridden this horse on several occasions, has been there and thereabouts. Last time out, um, I'm, I'm going to put a line through that one. I um, did have excuses at the start, but I don't think that we should be leaving this out any of our bets. For third, I've gone for horse number five. This is looking hot. Um, Malasela Kajedi for the mowing yard. I think this one is drawn on the right side of the track. Um, and I think that with the claim, we'll certainly put this one into the race. For fourth, we've gone for number one, Letitia's Angel. I know I've tipped this one before. We made a lot of money on Letitia's Angel. I do think that this one is good enough to run a drum um, back against its own sex. Only runner on the card for the stable. Come to 10 to 1, guys, maybe look at putting a couple places there. So race 8, 10 to 5 and 1, and putting as many as the budget will allow. 
Guys, as I said, we're coming up to Christmas. We've had a decent um, time of it lately in Joburg. Um, just, again, watch the horses go down. Watch for betting changes. Watch for jockey changes. Look after yourself. Take care. Steve, you're back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, the postman. We appreciate your input and your analysis. So please, Lord, let them arrive for the punters. And let's keep enjoying what we're doing. So all in all, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.